Today we are going to be doing a meditation inspired by Neville Goddard and written by Edward Art Supply Hands. This meditation is called the Pharaoh King Meditation. The goal is to get into the feeling. Let's begin. Lay down and relax. Any stresses in the body, release them with ease. Breathe and release. If you have any pains in your chest, gut, or feeling tightness, just relax. Close your eyes and imagine to the best of your ability, it does not have to be perfect. See yourself, first person, sitting on a throne. Now, imagine someone feeding you grapes. See them massaging your feet. See someone massaging your feet. Hear someone tell you it is an honor for them to serve you. Hear them call you your grace. Say no to something and let it be a no. Feel the power of your words and the power of your presence. Feel the calmness and intensity of being the highest. Now, switch over to being Pharaoh. To the best of your ability, see yourself in first person on top of the pyramids. You are the head of this land. See the sand, the sun. See what you own. You are the highest ruler on earth. You are divine. Feel the power of being on the highest rank. Everything you say goes, it becomes. All work for your desires being fulfilled. Feel the calmness of abundance. Feel majestic. Feel like a loving Pharaoh and all the people. Even though you are Pharaoh, you do not have to treat anyone as though they are less. You don't have to put anyone down because you know you are Pharaoh. Others just by your presence are inspired. Your very presence sparks light of faith into the minds of men and women. You do not have to fear. Your enemies turn into joyous followers when they enter your presence. You have no enemies. If you want something, you get it. No questions asked. You are the highest. You do not feel fear, but intense confidence in every word you speak. Feel the deepness, the stillness and strength in your breath. Since you feel no fear, you speak with the highest authority. No insecurities reside in you. There is no need for insecurity, for you are abundant in everything. You fear nothing. Fear fears you. Evil fears you. 
You uphold the highest form of love to all humanity. You do not waste time condemning, but you uplift yourself. Condemning, fear, guilt is for the unenlightened mind. You are far beyond and you see how this is your dream. You can dream the dream to your heart's desire and it must happen. You know there is one greater than you inside of you. The creator of all, the dreamer. You worship this creator mind. You only put into it all that is loving, all that is the highest, all that is noble, all that is magnificent, and you only attach the highest words to I am. You worship the creator and the creator blesses you. You reply with gratitude and more worship. This relationship is the greatest of all relationships. Focus intensely on this feeling. Feel that and do not allow the lowly feelings of fear trying to hold you down from your magnificence. If you are not willing to feel to an ever increasing degree of intensity of magnificence, then why do you even have a mind? You can do anything with your mind, then why not do anything? The dreamer is inside, let him dream and dance a new song into existence. Worship the one within and in return it worships you. Condemn it and it condemns you. There is only one. This meditation is not a simple meditation. This is to actually change how you see yourself. It is to rework the clay, your mind, and shape it to what you want. This meditation taught me how much I hinder myself in my mind, how much I chose my own prison instead of my exaltation. It also showed me that fantasy and spark creativity and the feeling I want. This showed me how much I can actually have within. It taught me to say the words, why not imagine this? And gave me the confidence to imagine what I want. You can be royalty in your mind. You do have what you want in your mind. It does not change your feeling. If it does not change your feeling, then you are convinced you don't have it. The only times I have ever changed reality and myself is when I actually do whatsoever I want in my mind. When I free myself, my whole feeling changes. And as Neville says, a change in feeling is a change in destiny. Have fun with this one. And an important note to add is that after you get this feeling of majesty and no fear or insecurities, come back and see yourself receiving what you want with the same feeling of majesty. It should be easier to feel that you have what you want. Thank you for listening. I have more meditations coming and if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and hit the subscribe. And I will see you next time in the next meditation.